If you want to learn more about MMR and titer testing, you have come to the right place. We are titer test experts. Let's review a few excessive lab sample reports to help you learn how to interpret the measles, also known as rubeola, titer results. Most schools and workplaces want to see a quantitative or a numerical result which can be found under the result header on the sample report. You can find the numerical result here. This sample report has a result of 1.92. Based off Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result greater than or equal to 1.10 is positive, which implies that a person with this result has immunity to the measles virus. Therefore, this sample report represents a positive result. Next, we'll look at a negative result. Once again, we will look under the result header for our numerical value. This sample report has a result of less than or equal to 0.90. You may also notice an abnormal notation on the flag header. And based off of the Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result less than or equal to 0.90 is negative, which implies that a person with this result does not have immunity to the measles virus. Therefore, this represents a negative result. Next, we'll look at an equivocal result. Once again, we will look under the result header for our numerical value. This sample report has a result of 1.07. Based on Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result between 0.91 and 1.09 is equivocal, which means that the result is neither negative or positive. Next, let's review a few Accessa Lab sample reports to help you learn how to interpret the mumps title results. This sample report has a result of 4.01. Based on Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result greater than or equal to 1.10 is positive, which implies that a person with this result has immunity to the mumps virus. Therefore, the sample report represents a positive result. Next, we'll look at a negative result. Once again, we will look under the result header for our numerical value. This sample report has a result of less than or equal to 0.90. You may also notice an abnormal notation under the flag header. Based on Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, and result less than or equal to 0.90 is negative, which implies the person with this result does not have immunity to the mumps virus. Therefore, this represents a negative result. Next, we'll look at an equivocal result. This sample report has a result of 1.07. You may also notice a low notation. Based on Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result between 0.91 and 1.09 is equivocal, which means that the result is neither negative or positive. Lastly, let's review a few excessive lab sample reports to help you learn how to interpret the rubella title results. You can find the numerical result here. This sample report has a result of 8.96. Based on Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result greater than or equal to 1.00 is positive, which implies that a person with this result has immunity to the rubella virus. Therefore, the sample report represents a positive result. Next, we'll look at a negative result. Once again, we will look under the result header for our numerical value. This report has a result of less than 0.90. You may also notice a low notation. And based off of Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result less than 0.90 is negative, which implies that a person with this result does not have immunity to the rubella virus. Therefore, the sample report represents a negative result. Lastly, we'll look at the equivocally result. We'll look under our result header for our numerical value. This report has a result of 0.91. You may also notice a low notation. Based on Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result between 0.90 and 0.99 is equivocal, which means the result is neither negative or positive. A negative or equivocal result for any MMR titer suggests that vaccination is needed for immunity. You can learn more at the CDC's website and please follow up on your personal results with your medical provider.
If you have any additional questions, call us at 888-946-9522 or send us an email, help at accesslabs.com. Thank you and have a great day.